Power BI DAX Tutorial Part 5 Hi, I am M. Asif Hussain from Nohab Academy. What are we going to learn in this video? We are going to learn the different filter functions in Power BI such as Calculate, All, All Accept, All including the Calculate function. So, my dear viewers, by the end of this video, you could able to learn and understand how to use the different applications of these filter functions in Power BI. So, watch till the end. In our recent Power BI DAX tutorial parts, we have seen the different date and time functions, we have seen different aggregate functions, logical functions, text functions. So, today we are going to learn the different filter functions. So let's see the data here. So we have a business segment column where we have accessories, we have bikes, we have clothing and we have components, right? So the total sales that we have, the number, it's a number of the overall business segments. Am I right? So let us consider my overall total sales is 2.3 million. Now 2.3 million includes the sales of bikes also, accessories also, clothing also, components also. So now my question is, what is the sales of bikes alone? How much is the sales for accessories alone? How much is the sales for clothing alone? And how much is the sales for components alone that we have to find out? In order to find that, we have to use a new measure. So what I'm doing here, I'm just choosing a new measure and in this new measure, what I'm doing, I'm first finding out my bike sales. So here, let me go and write bike sales. The DAX function that we will be using to find out the bike sales is calculate. It's not only the bike sales, but whatever you would like to find out from the overall part or the aggregation part we go with the calculate and we do that so calculate what is the expression so my expression should be out of my total sales i have to find my bike sales am i right so the expression will be sum of sum of my sales column sum of my sales columns comma and what is the filter in which particular column do we have bikes we have the column under data of business segment column we have bikes so double quotation bikes so by mistake i have entered enter so we are getting the incorrect syntax here but we have to give the business segment bikes now click on enter we will be big we will be getting the right value so let's verify i am choosing one table chart here so in this table chart let me take the business segment and let me take the sales as well okay so let me go and increase the value size so that it will be easy for you to go through and understand let me make it bold so the sales of bikes is 11 66 65 010 0. now let's verify whether are we getting the same value or not with the uh, dax function that we have calculated so for this let me choose a card chart and in this card chart i am choosing my bike sales so again it's the same 11667 116665 the overall 67 so we have got the right value so in the same way let me go and calculate the next uh, sales for the accessories for the accessories so now what i am doing here i am choosing the measure name as accessories sales so the answer for this one is calculate i am using the calculate function and the expression will be my sum of the sales column under my data table comma and what is the filter filter is under my business segment column i have the i have the accessories i have the accessories so now click on enter let me go and verify whether the accessories value is the similar one that i have calculated it or not so accessory sales value is 9937871.67 so let me go and find out the accessory sales that we have got is 993.79k yeah we have got the right value okay so in the same way let us go and even calculate the another using the another new measure the component sales the component sales component sales okay 
So here I'm choosing the DAX function called calculate and the expression I'm choosing sum. So if we carefully observe, we are using two functions here. We are using sum as an aggregate function as well and we are using filter function calculate as well. So sum of sum of data of sales comma so where do we, i have my components column i have under business segment equal to components equal to components click on enter so let's verify whether are we getting the right value or not so here what i'm doing so the component sales is 20335703 so let me get the component sales here i'm getting 20.34 millions so it's the same okay so this is how we have to use calculate and we have to find out the different scenarios depending upon the requirement that we have now let us go and learn the another dax function called all okay so for this one i am choosing a new measure in this new measure let me go and write the measure name as all function okay it can choose any uh, function it's up to you so now i am using calculate first I'm using calculate first as you can see that I'm choosing sum of sum of the sales column where do I have it under my data table comma here I'm choosing all function okay what this all function is doing it will return all the rows in a table or all the values in a column by ignoring any filters that have been applied so you might work on a millions of records when you are working in a real time organizations so what generally happens is that to find some information we generally use the uh, filter functions right we generally use filter uh, to see the appropriate information what do we have but we forget to remove that filter so in order to avoid that problems we go with the function called all so all function what it will do it will remove all the filters that we have, might have been applied and it will give us the overall answer okay so let us consider all and is asking the table name the table name let me consider data that's my table name let me close the parenthesis click on enter so i'm getting the uh, all function here under my table chart now you might see that the overall the value that we have is 141077 and that's the same value we are going to get it in the all function it's removing the filter it's not only selecting as accessories it's not only considering bytes and giving us the value no the overall constant answer for the total sales that we have it that's what we are getting it under the all function okay so all what it will do it will eliminate it will remove all the do all the filters that might have been applied to a columns in a table okay now let us go and learn the another dax function called all except okay so for this i'm choosing a new measure here let me go and write the measure name all except in the name itself we have everything except except what whatever the condition we are going to give it okay we have to find okay let me give a simple example whenever we uh, go to a wedding you know we tell to our children that okay you eat whatever you want except ice cream because it you might get a teeth pain right so except means by avoid ice cream but you can eat everything in a wedding am i right now you let us consider the oldest people who has diabetes okay we what do we assist insist them that okay you eat whatever you want except sweets it means that don't eat sweets but consider everything okay the same way here so we will consider we will write all the uh, columns but except whichever column we don't want that we can avoid it okay so that's what uh, the all except function plays here so i am choosing calculate calculate the sum of sum of the sales column comma so what is the filter that we would like to apply here i'll go with the all except it returns all the rows in a table except for those rows that are affected by the specified column filter okay that's very important so first we have to write the table name which is data table name is data comma so now what we have to select here the column name let me consider the business segment as a column name so now click on enter so except the business segment column you can consider anything so here in all function what will happen is that in all function the values will be freezed but in all except function the values will not be freezed whichever the filter that we have applied according to that we can see the result out of it 
okay so that's the interesting thing so let me get the all except here okay all except that we have calculated all except as we can see that now if i take a slicer if i take a slicer and if i get the business segment here so we can see that the values for clothing okay let me remove this one okay now we can see that the values for all function are getting freezed so whatever i select it's the same answer it is giving it to me but uh, all except is no except the business segment the rest of the things by considering it i'm getting the answers out of it am i right so this is how we have to use the all except function in our power bi so my dear uh, viewers in today's video we have learned how we have to use calculate function how we have to use all dax function how we have to use all except dax function and how we have to use the calculate function in with the all function in our power bi so thank you for choosing nahab academy as your source for it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate the tech world if you have any questions do not hesitate to reach out it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you stay curious and keep learning